if you're going to invest in real estate, make sure you're investing in landlord friendly states. Uh, yeah. Never been more reasons. important. Never been more important than now, Bill. Yeah. yeah and and it, it, you know, I know a lot of people like, is it a deed of trust state or is it a mortgage state? And they look at that for the speed of, of foreclosure, taking property back, but there's so much more than just that aspect. Um, and sadly, a lot of it is political, but. Yeah, we're, we're pretty fortunate right now that uh, we, we have the ability through uh, different software and algorithms that we can figure out where the low crime area, low, low crime areas are, the average income of the person or the people that are going to be in certain areas, uh, the migration patterns <coughs> of the country. And, and we should be able to really target uh, where we want to put our investments. Exactly. And those are going to be in the growing areas that are... <coughs> lower cost of living than, you know, most of the areas. Uh, I'm not going to add to the freedom, but people have more freedom in certain areas than others. Yeah, and, uh, you know, uh, it, it's all about the um, quality of, of life uh, areas. Speaking of which, uh, you're not just in the Jacksonville area, you're in uh, multiple areas in Florida. Yeah, we're, we're we, we started in Jacksonville because that's where we, we, uh, we, you know, we did both foreclosures, both me, both me and my building partner for many years. And then about seven years ago, if you guys remember, the bulk foreclosures started to dry up. You know, there, there have been these, these nice media stories about this shadow inventory that would be coming up. Do you remember shadow inventory? That was yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> favorite. Funny thing was, this shadow inventory never came. There were thousands of houses the banks were holding back in, in each area. It just wasn't true. They didn't come. And we, we were starting to really fight over these fixer uppers. And we just said, well, why don't we try to build? And so, you know, that was seven years ago, we built about $3 million worth of investment property. And last year we did 125 million in, in new contracts. So it wow. grew quickly, but that starting point bill was in Jacksonville where we knew our stuff. And then we branched slowly out to Ocala and Palm coast and citrus County, and then six different markets down in Southwest Florida. These all these areas had the five factors we look for population growth, economic growth, a good affordability index, which means what's the average salary compared to the average price of houses. You know, it was desirable. There were things of lifestyle and, and people wanted to live there uh, and healthy supply and demand. You know, areas of Southwest Florida, for example, they were by the time we went down there, they were already three years behind on needed rental inventory. That was really to our advantage since we already had building uh, track record and reputation in other areas that was good and was able to go in. Uh, and again, we're just providing with the wind at our back. There's so many people moving to Florida now. Uh, we didn't want to put too much pressure on one market like Jacksonville. Sure. Uh, but we wanted to go into areas of Florida that were also experiencing that high growth and have those five factors. So we're in about, yeah, about 12 different markets now. 